In this video, you'll learn how to change data cell styles using events. We'll start with a grid displaying task data that has no conditional formatting applied. By handling the row style event, we'll apply a different background color to rows whose priority field value is high. Then you'll use the row cell style event to highlight status cells within those rows, if the status is set to new. Let's start with an application that has a grid that displays task data and has no conditional formatting applied. We'll run the application to see how the data looks. Now write the row style event handler. The code changes the background color for rows whose priority column value is high. The currently processed row is identified using the event's row handle parameter. The row's appearance settings are set via the appearance parameter. Run the application and let's see the result. The high priority rows are now displayed with a specified gradient background. The gradient is applied to entire rows and not to individual cells. Let's return to design time and let's customize individual cells. To do this, handle the row cell style event. It provides you with the column and row handle parameters that identify the cell being processed. The handler will modify cells in the status column if their value is new provided that the record's priority is set to high. Now let's run the application. And you'll see that appearance settings imposed by the row cell style event override those set in the row style event. 